Juwan is a town drunk. He just got out of prison for his 27th DUI and celebrated with a night out at the bar. Too intoxicated to think, he goes for one final joyride. Today, he won't only learn about the dangers of drunk driving, but the physics of collisions as well. Theo is a responsible driver. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Juwan is traveling at 30 meters per second. I'm traveling at 26 meters per second. Momentum is mass times velocity. If I put that in, I'll get 39,000 kilogram meters per second for both cars. That gives me this diagram for the collision. Because the collision is perfectly inelastic, the cars stick together. The final momentum is 45 degrees below the horizontal. If I divide this by the total mass, I get the final velocity of 19.7 meters per second. But this isn't over. The Taco Bell I had for lunch will explode. This will launch me at 6 meters per second, 45 degrees above the horizontal. Because I'll land at the same speed I was launched at, the change in vertical velocity will be the initial vertical velocity multiplied by 2. Acceleration due to gravity will be negative 9.8 meters per second. If I divide delta V by this, I'll get the total flight time. If I multiply this by the x velocity, I'll get the horizontal distance. However, I still need to find the height of my flight. I can use this formula, ignoring air resistance. If I plug in all the numbers, I get a maximum height of 0.919 meters, making this trajectory. So if my calculations are correct, which they are, I will die, adding to the annual number of drunk driving fatalities in the U.S. This video was brought to you by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. To learn more, visit mothersagainstdrunkdriving.com slash teacher Thompson to redeem 15% off on your Mothers Against Drunk Driving premium subscription. Remember kids, alcohol doesn't solve your problems, it just makes them go away.